Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnus, and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. So we're back here with Raphael Kerman. You may have noticed that the, uh, the surroundings look a little bit different. That's because we've landed in a different part of the moon. Let me explain. I was recording with Bandicam, and apparently Bandicam does not like Kerbal Space Program either. Wish I had known that earlier. There's where we landed before. I landed as close as I could, about 5.9 kilometers away. And uh, I brought Raphael Kerman back. In fact, I came all the way back to the moon and landed so that you guys can see us leave the moon. So, <laughs> I hope that you guys appreciate that because, man, that Bandicam recording was terrible. We're talking like 8 frames per second. So, we're going to be using perhaps for Kerbal Space Program, as well as for Minecraft. And we will be using my, my blue snowball mic because it's still amazing. Thank goodness, because I need something to convince me that everything works well. Let's see. Crew report. The goo seems to be less dense here. Keep the data. Oh, that was the goo. Never mind. So this is the materials bay. The fine dust of the moon has intermixed with some of the samples. You have a sneaking suspicion that they'll never be able to get the lab clean again. Wonderful. Keep the data. And how about that crew report? You accrue? <laughs> There's absolutely no assessment of this situation whatsoever. Raphael Kerman, why don't you step out? You're technically still the first Kerbal to step foot on the moon, but you know, you're gonna step foot on the moon again. So let's just. We. Little EVA pack and. Kerplop. Congratulations, Raphael Kerman. You are a hero. Sort of. You look very pleased about this, actually. Where is the sun at the moment? I think it's directly above us. Anyway. Yeah, Raphael Kerman, very good. In fact, Raphael Kerman was named after a subscriber. If you would like to have a Kerbal named after you, please let me know below in the comments. We have another Kerbal later in the episode who is named after another subscriber who will be going to Minmus. Minmus, blah, blah. But let's do our, let's do our science. First of all, let's plant our flag. Kerbal Space Program. If you haven't bought Kerbal Space Program already, please go do so now. You can go to the Steam page from the link in the description below. Let's see. Site name. Uh... Raphael returned here, I guess? We came to the moon not because it was easy, but because it was hard. And there was nothing on TV. Wonderful, there we go. Okay. And now let's do our EVA report. 1.4 scientific value. You look up and search the sky for Kerbin. Suddenly you feel very small. Oh, that's adorable. Take a surface sample. The darker midland surface appears to be made up of basaltic rocks. Why, thank you. I will keep that data, Moon. And honestly, there's not a whole lot else for us to do here on the moon, <laughs> so, uh... I mean, we could go visit that flag, but let's not, because we're probably going to get killed in the process. As you know, the moon does have less... Ooh, ooh, Raphael Kerman, I'm so sorry. The moon has less gravity than Kerman. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much, but in real life, our moon has approximately one-sixth the gravity, about half the gravity of Mars, one-sixth the gravity of Earth, so, Mars is one-third the gravity of Earth. Let's see how high we can jump. Nice. Considering the fact that Kerbals can only jump, like, maybe this high on Kerbin, it's nice to know that the moon is a nice, fun place to, like, chill. And... It's time for us to get back. Hopefully not knocking over a rocket. There we go. Alright, everything's good. Whew. Okay, so I want to get into an equatorial orbit, and we need to get out of here. So, let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Not bad, not bad. Retract the landing legs, and we are on our way. I'm pretty sure just getting an AP of, like, 20? 20 will be fine. Probably. 
Don't worry, Raphael Kerbin, you, uh, Raphael Kerman, you've already done this before. You shouldn't be afraid at all. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm almost certain we have plenty of fuel to get back home. Almost. So the one bad thing about having my new mic is that it's incredibly sensitive. It's very great at what it does, but unfortunately it picks up a lot of sounds like my keyboard and my my mouse clicks, and I don't really know what to do about that. I've tried using some Audacity things to to reduce the clicks and the pops of the keyboard. Uh, tried to use a noise gate actually. That was an interesting. An interesting thing that I tried to do. Uh, tried to use a noise gate using various settings on noise removal. But all in all, I, I don't know. If you guys can hear a lot of keyboard clicks and stuff like that, I apologize. I'm still trying to get used to the settings. So, 19 and 21. Alright, very good. So, we are in orbit around the moon. We want to go this way. So, I'm going to set a maneuver node. Nope, that is that is not what I wanted to do. Is that is that close enough? Where is it at? Two hundred? No, that's not. That is not close enough. 12? Yeah, that's that's close enough on the other hand. Let's see, can we... Under 30... Nineteen. Sure, that's 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 close enough. Just go ahead and line up. All right, and let's go. Raphael Kerbin, you are going home, thankfully. Probably safely, no guarantees, but I've I've done this quite a few times at this point, so I'm I'm not too worried. This uh the ship is a little bit questionable, like the uh when we are entering Kerbin's atmosphere, we, we have to slow down before we deploy our parachutes, or the parachutes will rip the rocket in half, which is a little bit frightening. A little bit frightening, but you know, eh, whatever. Ten second burn on both sides should be... Ooh. There we go. And start our burn. <laughs> Raphael's sort of like looking up in the air like he doesn't really know what's going on, but that's okay. He trusts me, probably. Maybe. <laughs> You'll be fine, Raphael. So this mission is not going to return a lot of science, actually, because we have... Ooh, I think I think we may have overdone that just a little bit. Yeah, just just a little bit. We can fix that, no problem. But this mission is not going to bring back that much science because we've already we've already gone to the Midlands once before. So don't don't be expecting a lot of science, but we did get science from the last mission. About 70 science, just so you know. Alright, so five. And this, yes, we will be returning on the light side of Kerbin. Wonderful! Because I, I sure as heck don't want to return on the dark side of Kerbin. There we go, focus on... Raphael? Ah. Such a beautiful game. Hello, Kerbin. Did you miss me? I'm back. I'm back, baby. We're not going anywhere. And 
Oh, uh, a little bit that. Uh, there we go. And there's the atmosphere, so we're just gonna go ahead and aim retrograde. This uh, we should be landing in the ocean. Funny thing is, the uh, the few times that I did this on my other save, even though I launched at the same time from the moon, somehow Kerbin ended up like rotating in strange ways. So one time I landed on land, when I landed in water. I don't know why. But either way, we are going to slow down quite a lot in just a moment when we hit the medium atmosphere. There are re-entry effects. By the way, returning from lunar speeds, by the way, going to the moon and... Ooh, ooh, I, I hope we don't go over land. Nah, no, we're, we're not going to make it to the land, no way. I'm, I'm assuming that we can go ahead and face ourselves straight up and down. This won't be an issue. I think I'm going to go ahead and burn by the time we get to 500 so that we are going quite slowly when we open our parachutes. Otherwise, we are, we are going to lose the, the bottom part of this rocket. And the only reason I want to keep the bottom part of this rocket is later in career mode, we are indeed going to be able to recover parts and then reuse them again so we don't have to buy them. And in those cases, I want to be able to keep There we go. We will be able to keep our pieces of our rocket so that we don't have to buy them again. And that's that's something I want to get into the habit of doing. So there you go. There's... There's our rocket. <laughs> Three parachutes. Everything seems to be fine. We're going at 5.9 meters per second. That should not break our rocket when we hit the water. Raphael is doing okay. So let's go ahead and time warp to get down to the water's surface. And splash down. Whoa. Hit the water a little bit hard on the top, but no problems. Congratulations, Raphael Kerman. You have returned from the moon, and hopefully this recording will live. Recover the vessel. Oh, 14.7 science. Not bad. Almost have 500 now. Almost have 500. So the next thing that we need to do, of course, is to go and... Oh, wait. This is not where I wanted to go. We need to go to Minmus. And I, in the last episode, which it didn't work out very well, sent another dumpster diver into orbit. We're going to check it out. Who is in the cockpit? Who is in the cockpit? That would be Wayne Kerman. Hello, Wayne Kerman. We recruited you, put you in a rocket, and you are now in orbit around Kerbin. You are currently on the dark side, so we can't see you very well. Come on, son. Ta-da. So you are currently in orbit around Kerbin, and you are going to attempt to go to Minmus. Wayne Kerman is named after Tony Cow, one of our subscribers. If you would like to have a Kerbal named after you or a probe, please let me know below in the comments, and I will I will check out your name and such. So basically, this this rocket is going to do the exact same thing that the last rocket did going to the moon, except we're going to go to Minmus instead. We're going to try to do some science on Minmus. Minmus does not have multiple biomes. So actually, we could go back to the moon and go to different craters because the craters themselves are actually going to have different science because we've only sent a probe to one of the craters and many of the craters are different biomes. Uh, Minmus, as far as I know, doesn't have any biomes. 
So we should be able to land anywhere on Minmusing at all of the science, and we'll be doing that next episode. I realized that this episode was a little bit short, everyone, but that's that's because there were some issues with recording last time. Promise, hopefully things won't be going terrible next time, and hopefully this recording doesn't have any black spots or anything like that. I'm, I'm starting to get very frustrated with my recording software, but thank you so much everyone for watching. My name is Megnius, and I will see you next time.